everyone, my name is Kyle Johnson. I am presenting a project which was a LiDAR comparison and beam steering scheme. The motivation for this project is uh, a CubeSat research project we're working on in the Security Science and Engineering Lab. Uh, satellites are trying to interact with each other and they need to get to site and we are trying to use commercial off-the-shelf LiDAR modules because space qualified LiDAR modules are cost prohibitive. So just quick LiDAR background, LiDAR stands for light, distance, and ranging. Uh, typical LiDAR modules use near-infrared wavelengths. They can be lasers or infrared LEDs. And for ranging, the time of flight method is commonly used, which means that the sensor shoots laser out, it bounces off an object, comes back to the sensor. The sensor measures the time between transmitting and receiving the light and converts that to a distance. LiDAR is used to create point clouds, so the beam from a LiDAR module is sent in all different directions. It can basically scan a real-world environment and create a 3D rendition like you see right here with the bridge. Um, so low-cost LiDAR modules like the one we found on Amazon and DigiKey uh, have a big drawback. None of those modules have beam steering capabilities to create those point clouds. So my first challenge is to create a scheme for giving low-cost LiDAR modules beam steering capabilities. And my second challenge is I need to characterize those LiDAR modules. So with whatever scheme I come up with, I need to make sure that my modules have the right characteristics to implement that scheme. So with beam steering, my considerations are that it needs, the, the whole system needs to be small in size, little or no mechanical components, it needs to be cheap, and I need to be able to produce a large amount of points. The solution I found is are digital micromirror devices found in DLP projectors. DLP projector is a simple projector you would buy off Amazon for about a hundred bucks to watch Netflix in your living room. Um, the mirror chip on the inside has 200,000 mirrors on it, and it's on a surface much smaller than the pad of my finger. Sure. So the, each mirror. Uh, is found in two different angles. So we'll say state zero is the first angle tilted to the left. State one is the other uh, angle, which is tilted to the right. But going from state zero to state one, there's a transition. So you get to use all of those angles in between state zero and state one as it changes. What I will, the trick of my project is to shoot the LiDAR module at the mirror as it makes those, as it makes that transition to reflect beams at various angles. The second challenge I have is I need to characterize my LiDAR somehow. So the data that I'm looking for, I want a beam profile, I want power measurement, pulse waveforms, frequency spectrum graphs, and I want to verify the measurements my LiDAR modules are taking. The test platform must be built uh, to take data at various distances, to have scanning capabilities, and to uh, travel the coordinates given by the user. So the test platform I built was a 3D printer mounted to an optical breadboard. Now that breadboard was mounted to two linear rail guides and a ball screw, which is the x-axis. And at one end you can see that I have a power meter, spectrometer, the WinCam LCM, which is a beam profiler, and a DET10A silicon photo detector. Um, all the motion is controlled by four NEMA 17 uh, step runners. The user input is Cartesian coordinates. The program I wrote uh, was in Python and it takes the coordinates and converts it to G code, which is just commonly used uh, to control multiple stepper motors uh, connected to a GRBL control board. Uh, the motors move all sim simultaneously and an Arduino controls the LiDAR modules. So, challenge that I have the power meter I was using uh, has picks up a lot of noise. It was hard for me to determine accurate readings. The LiDAR pulse durations of my LiDAR, LiDARs I bought were too long for the transition. The Garmin pulse width was the best at one microsecond, but it's still half of the tra DMD transition. And I had some faulty electronics, so I couldn't get the mirrors to uh, cooperate with me. Conclusions, the best LiDAR, I had ones that uh, had small pulses, but it had a wide beam divergence. Um, so I don't really have a best LiDAR. I'm still looking for LiDAR modules. Next step is to purchase another 
evaluation module, use a trigger controlled laser with nanosecond pulses and to improve my test plan. So thank you for listening and um, I hope you enjoyed the presentation.